Hey guys, welcome to our Stay With It series. This is going to be about, uh, we're going we're gonna to take this video to share our story and kind of um, where we came from and how we got to this point that we're at now. And so we felt like that was important just because we want everyone to know exactly uh, kind of how this all came about and to just hear our story because it's very flawed. So I'm going to let Ross go first. He's going to kind of tell his story and how, you know, how we got together. And then I'll share my background and, and you know, when he came in back into my life and all that. And then um, we'll hopefully be making another video right after this. So that way we can keep providing content for all of our viewers. All right, guys. So, um, you know, growing up, Really, from middle school on, Autumn and I were pretty much best friends. You know, we dated here and there, but we were best friends growing up. Uh, but once we got out of high school, we really lost contact. Uh, she went her direction, and I went my direction. Um, you know, she kind of moved around, but she can tell you her story. But I, I was down at in Brownwood, Texas, at Howard Payne University, where I played basketball and was going to school. And and um, and myself, I was in a relationship that was on and ongoing, on and off for about six years from high school, you know, through most of college. And um, it wasn't until about uh, around February of 2013 where it just so happened that we were both in the same place at the same time. Uh, actually, we were playing, um, we were playing a team in in Seguin, Texas. Texas Lutheran University, but we were staying in a hotel in San Marcos, and I was on Twitter that night, and you know somehow we got connected, and we ended up uh, hanging out after the game, and and then uh, the days following, and then you know we really got together uh, pretty. It happened really quickly, to be honest. Uh, by by five days after that, you know we were pretty much together every single day, um, and then. The events following that uh, that that school year, um, I I had the tragedy of two of my my best friends, uh, really good friends that passed away, and um, I was still young and immature at that time, and I didn't really know how to handle it, and I didn't handle it in the best way, and that started a series of problems that we had ongoing, and and, and shortly thereafter um, we got pregnant. Uh, heading into my senior year of college, and so it all happened so quickly that, you know, honestly, when you think back on it, we really never had quite the opportunity to work on ourselves and our relationship. It was always, you know, we went from a, a stage in our lives where we were, you know, just really partying and and having a great time, to being pregnant, to being uh, uh, in the real world and parents, young parents. So. Um, you know that that's how we got to uh, the stage after you know to, to parenthood, and then from that time on, you know it's been all about our daughter. It's never really been about you know we've never really worked on a relationship. And as a man, you kind of take responsibility for that because it's your job to lead the family. Um, and so I've I've really to be quite honest, I've failed at that. And you know that's that's why we're taking the steps now because we we know. Um, the power of, uh, you know, the power of God, really, and, and putting God first. So I'm going to go ahead and let Autumn take it from here. Right. So, um, yeah, I mean, my story is, well, it's a lot different because I wasn't really consistently in school. Um, I really kind of just lost sight of who I was after high school. I uh, went, I mean, I've, I've had several relationships that I had no business being in whatsoever, um, just kind of trying to fill that void that I always felt. And although I, I had, there was a time where I grew really close to the Lord and my spiritual walk was really strong, I, um, I failed and I, I screwed up and wound up in rehab. And it was the biggest, um, the worst, uh, the worst but the best thing that could have happened because what I learned from that was, um, you know, a lot of times rock bottom is is the best place to start fresh and I know that that was necessary to, for me to, to go through all that and I've, I've just learned a lot of lessons um, throughout that whole process and I mean I'm still learning today 
But uh, basically, I had moved to Colorado for a couple of months, um, just kind of because. And um, I got homesick and moved back to San Marcos, moved went in with my sister. And that's when him and I reconnected. Um, we were always friends growing up because we both played basketball and um, we both loved Texas Tech. I still have notes that we would write to each other in seventh and eighth grade. Um, and we both signed like our own signature with our numbers and stuff. And so we were, I mean, we were just good friends growing up. And then, uh, yeah, I just, I remember he told my mom when we were 18 that he was going to marry me someday. And I just laughed and rolled my eyes and was like, yeah, right. But then it actually happened. So I guess he spoke that into existence. So be careful what you wish for and what you say, because you just never know. So yeah, it was when we got when we got uh, together, things just happened really fast. We were together for five months, and then I got pregnant, and um, God really used that, uh, the pregnancy, to change me. Um, I really started to just reevaluate my priorities and what I wanted in life and what kind of mom I wanted to be when I got pregnant. And so um, I, always, I always say that he inspired the biggest change in me that I've ever had because if it wasn't for him and just all the things that happened leading up to that point, um, I don't think I would be the kind of mom that I am today. So, so then, yeah, we've been, we got married when our daughter was a month old. Um, and we basically did it because I wanted, I needed insurance and he got a job that provided really good health insurance. And so we just kind of on a whim went to the courthouse and got married and so we were kind of just thrown into the whole marriage concept and um, when it, it reality hit us that it's not as easy as we were expecting because um, I mean marriage is a commitment for the rest of your life and when you really sit and think about that it's kind of scary and so especially if you're someone like me who's never really committed to anything fully completely. So, um, I don't know. It's just crazy how God works in very mysterious ways and he takes our biggest mess and can turn it into his greatest message. And that's really what we're, um, that's what our intentions are with all of this, because we want everyone to know we are very flawed. Um, we're not perfect. We're not some super spiritual, huge, like, mature Christians, uh, we're both really just diving, getting back into the Word and everything, and we're just, uh, sharing it live as we go, because we know that, we, we know the power of social media, and the power of putting things out there on a platform for people to see, and we just, last night, decided that would be the best way for us to stay accountable, and really, document the changes because I think it'll be kind of cool to look back in 30 days and just see where we started and um I don't know where this is gonna take us or anything but uh I just know that that this is us being obedient to what we feel called to do right now so our next video we'll be talking about what actions we're taking right now towards uh, really just getting into the healing process because we have gone through a lot of pain uh, throughout our lives with watching our parents. Both of our parents are divorced and um, a lot of pain. We put each other in a lot of pain and said and done a lot of hurtful things. And so uh, it's going to get really real and raw here, but that's um, that's what we're here to do. So uh, we will we appreciate everyone that, that watches um, and everyone that supports us. And um, we ask for your prayers if you are someone who prays because this is going to be really hard. It's not easy to put your life out there, especially at a time like this when so much has happened that you don't even know, you don't know what's, you don't know the outcome, you know, but we just feel like this is what God has put on our heart and called us to do. So we're doing it. So we have faith in that. So um, do you want to add anything? Yeah, guys, like she said, um, you know, it's going to get, it's going to get raw. We're going to go into detail about you know what's going on in our lives uh when we get to that point and um you know I, i'm i'm excited about this journey uh, you know i 
yeah, I'm, I'm kind of scared about it. I don't, I don't really know what to expect, but I trust in the Lord. And we, we talked about this last time. We came up with an idea, and we sat there, and we prayed, and we prayed, and prayed about it, and woke up today and, and, and taken action because this is what we were called to do. Um, so subscribe, um, like, and, and, and share. Yep. Bye.